I came today as an Olympian and an adoptee. I came today as someone who left an image in my sport, figure skating, and who left an impact in sport. The day I was born, my life was different, not typical. After a couple of days, after my birth, my biologic mom decided to give me up for adoption instead of friends in hospital. I had a couple months where I was alone and suddenly a French white couple decided to adopt me and change my life forever and take me home. My life was altered and beautiful ever since. My parents were just regular people who give me everything, give me opportunity to be in a happy and, and healthy child and was surrounded by lots of love. I can say that I was very lucky being adopted. It was like winning lottery. I've been participating at three Winter Olympic Games. My first one was in 1992 in Alberville, in my home country. I was asked by the Olympic Committee to give the Olympic off on behalf of the athletes. Second was in 1994 in Lillehammer. And my third and last Olympics was in 1998 in Nagano, Japan. That was my last competition as an amateur. And somehow I decided to do the best element that I have was actually the backflip, landing on one foot. That was never performed ever in competition. Yep, that was wild. As a pioneer in sports, I wanted to be the first ever skater to do a backflip in Olympic ice. I have the opportunity and chance to have an amazing career. I had chance to do a lot of sports when I was young, encouraged by my mother as a sport coach. I was somehow good at everything I tried. I did diving, fencing, horse riding, many sports, except catching a ball, no good at all. My mom one day drove me to a skating gymnastics center and somehow being so tiny at my age was actually an advantage and become one of my best choice. I even become world champion in tumbling at 12. And gymnastic bring me the skill that I will use later on in my career to attend wonderful tricks like backflip or quadruple jumps. I was actually the first female ever to attend quadruple in skating in a whole world. I remember when I was nine years old, one of my skating coach told me that I couldn't do a double jump, even allowed me to even try it. So my mom and I decided to go to another skating ring and practice over and over that forbidden jumps. And guess what? I finally landed. So for me and my mom was actually a triumph. That day I was so full of joy and so happy. That next day my coach saw that jump. Unfortunately, he was mad at me because I was disobeying him. And I was too young and I was improving too fast. So I was kind of just mixing and changing the whole skating world back then. Back in the days, my mom became more attentive, tried to spend time watching me at practice, even though she even tried to hide herself behind 
flower or tree pot, but she will always be here to watch me practice. And eventually she become my full-time skating coach, even though I did have amazing and world-renowned coaches. My life was for sure different, but I have wonderful experience. I was so exciting to participate to the Olympics and be able to have this experience of being in the middle of those countries. Champions, as a champion, we are so lucky to be and participate in Olympic Games, knowing that there is more than 200 countries meeting together and spend two weeks during those Olympics together, living under one roof and following those rules. Respect, sportsmanship, competition, and peace. And those rules are so important. I think then competing all over the world gave me such experience. I had a chance to travel all over the world, competing, performing. I even had the experience and the chance to go to North Korea three times. Yeah, like you can imagine, North Korea looks sometimes strange, but I did perform there. And I had the chance to perform and to be respected like any other places that I would perform. North Korean people were a little bit reserved, but somehow they were so respectful to us, to my teammates, and whether I was black. I came as a French with American address. Somehow they liked me and respect, respect me like all my other peers. I think sports have the capacity to break barriers, and that's wonderful. Often, sports works better than governments. Sports have the capacity to bring people united with happiness, love, all over the world. And I'm so lucky to be an athlete, have the chance to perform in front of everyone. I would say that I was lucky to have parents who helped me, parents who give me a good education. They continually give me the sense of keeping my skills, try to speak up, to be a better person, to speak up. And as an athlete, it's important to be able to show what you want to do, to show to the world that you have power. And I can say that I'm very thankful to my parents to give me that strength and that courage. You probably wonder how did I come that far? You probably think that it came easy. No, every day I practice, every, day, every year from seven, 10 hours a day. But somehow the strength, the love and the power of my sport make me become who I am today. And just, I'm just blessed to be here in front of you today as an ambassador for peace. And I'm here and I hope then my skating life impacts a lot of people who did watch me and will probably inspire many lives in the future. Thank you.